All right, so our project is replacing the, replacing the broken glass and then reglazing with glazing, window glazing compound all around the perimeter with a nice tight bead. And then when it's dry, we'll come back and clean the windows nicely because it's too oily when you do it at first. But once it sets up, once it sets up, it, it just smears right off. And uh, let's see if, for instance, where it smears it. There. See, it stays oily on the day that you do it, but then afterwards, when it has a chance to dry, it gets like that. You can crisp up the edges a little bit. You can't really see because it's backlit, but. So, when you have rattling windows, and it's an old fashioned window like this, that's why. It's because of the old crunchy, it's the old crunchy glazing. This, that one's broken, gonna get a new pane for that. Took out all the storm windows. Storm windows are great, if you have these storm windows, and screens, good idea to keep them. I've never seen them in such a bad state that you have to throw them out. People take them off, they think they're unsightly, but maybe so, but in a practical way, it's very good. Shut up. Let's see if for instance, okay, here we go. I can't reach, but this is what it looks like with the, there. Take all that crunchy stuff out, and then you put new, and the windows, and the windows won't rattle, and you won't get as many drafts, and that's it. So we're gonna go around, take out all the crunchy stuff, put it new, all the storm windows and screens will be washed and cleaned, Some of them are not so bad. You just take off what's, what's crunchy and loose and then you fill in around it. Yeah, like some of it that's intact. You take off the crunchy ones and you put new, clean the window up real nice. And uh, yeah, until you get new windows, this is how they were built and designed from the start.